Okay, so in this uh, video we're going to look at smoothing again, but we're going to use a thing called moving averages. Okay, so when using a, move, a smoothing process, we're trying to remove the random component in the data, and sometimes this randomness is called the noise or random error. And once data has been smoothed, we can examine what's left over to look for trends. So it's just a way of getting rid of some of the data that's um, a little bit not quite right. Okay, so in the moving average method, um, okay, so this method can remove much of the random variation in the time series data, and by selecting an appropriate number of terms in the moving average, sometimes we can get rid of the seasonal variation. So we'll talk about that later on as well. Um, the result should be the result should be a reasonable indication of the long-term trend. Okay, by taking out the randomness, taking out the points that are a little bit out of out of whack. Okay, so copy that, come across. Okay, so the moving average process or procedure involves taking the average, average is just adding terms of a specified number of terms centred around each time period. So when we look at the example, you'll understand what this thing about centred means as well. And we talk, we use this expression, the K moving average, like three, the three point moving average, the four point moving average to indicate that we're using some number of terms to be including the average. And they use this notation AK for this average. So copy that and come across. I think we're getting ready for an example. Okay, so we've got a set of data, uh, T, Y, whatever we're measuring, it doesn't, mean, it doesn't matter what we're measuring. So what we're looking at is, in this particular case, K equals three, so we call it a three-point moving average. So instead of having Y, I should actually put A3. So what we're doing is, we're looking at those three numbers and we're going to average those three numbers. So 4.32 plus 7.91 plus 6.07. So it's three because it's a three point moving average. And then divide by three because there's three numbers. And so that answer is 6.1. So instead of having 7.91 for the value of two, we're averaging the values on either side, including that value, and we come up with a new number for the value of two. So when t equals two, Instead of having 7.91, we got the average of the numbers around it, three numbers. So when we get to the next number, uh, I'll get me some color. So to get the next number at three, we look at the average of those three numbers. So 7.91, so we go back to the original data, we don't use this new number, we go back to the original data, 7.91, 607, 1043, divide by three, and then that gives us that new number here. So what I want you to do, um, is I want you to fill in the rest of the table so the number for four will be centers on four and then we're going to look look at the numbers around it and then just keep going and obviously at the end we lose the last number because the number after eight there's no number there so you can't center on eight so we're losing a number at the start and the finish and what I want you to do is I want you to fill in the rest of the table so pause the tape and when you when you're ready come back Okay, so we've got some normal number, more numbers to put in. I'm just getting my page ready. Uh, 8.14, you should have got 9.24 as the next number. 10.24, 11.09, and the last number should have been 11.97. Okay? Um, so, that's the, they're the last few numbers. I think we've got one more slide to go. Okay, so plotting, if you want to plot the three-point average, three-point moving average, you get, so rather than having randomness, you get a lot more of a smoother line in the data. Um, obviously, we're going to lose one term at each end because the first term doesn't have a term before it and the last term didn't have a term after it. So you're going to lose terms on either side. And obviously, the consequence is we use A equals three, but if you involve more terms, like if you have a four-point average, then the first term, we're gonna, we need more terms, so we're going to lose more terms as k gets bigger. Okay, so there'll be an exercise that's attached uh, to this, ex to this uh, topic. Okay, thanks, bye.